Hi guys, this is Liz Canada from Sleek Lens. Today I'm here to show you the Color Fantasy workflow. This workflow comes with 82 stackable presets and 23 color brushes, and it's meant to enhance the color and lighten your photographs in a natural way, which is really great because color can basically be a defining element of your photograph. So today we're just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and start with my presets, my all-in-one presets, and the first one we're going to choose today is the red stilettos. And as you can see, that's added just a lot of contrast to the photograph. And the great thing about these presets is that they are one-click edits, but you can also go over here to your navigation and use the sliders here to kind of change. So I've added a lot of contrast in here, but it's a little too much for me. So I'm going to go ahead and turn down the clarity a little bit, turn down the contrast a tiny bit. And I've kind of blown out the highlights a little bit. So I'm going to turn the highlights down. And it's a still a little bit too sharp so I'm going to go into my details tab and put that down just a tad. All right so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stack another preset on top of this and I'm going to go with the what a dream preset which is an all-in-one preset and that's just added a nice soft warm tone to the photograph. So after I've applied my all-in-one presets, I'm going to go over to my brushes and I'm going to use my light brushes and my color brushes to really enhance the details of this photograph. I'm going to go over to my brushes and the first thing I'm going to do is scroll down and I'm going to choose my light brighten shadows brush. And I'm going to use this in certain parts of the photograph just to kind of brighten the shadows a little bit right in here. I'm going to brighten the land strip over here. And just a little bit on her right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just slide the exposure down just a little bit so it's not too bright. Next thing I'm going to do is apply a new brush. So I'm going to hit new. I'm going to go down and this time I'm going to use my general light brighten brush. And I'm going to use that to apply light to this girl who is the subject of our photograph. I'm going to apply a little bit of light to her kite. And then I'm going to use it to apply a little bit more light up in the sky. So add a few highlights. And these kind of water highlights on the ground here. Next thing I'm going to do is open a new brush. I'm going to go to my light brushes again, and this time I'm just going to go to my general light darken brush. And I'm going to use this to kind of darken some of the highlights that we have over in this corner. A little bit in the ground over here, getting up to her. And then they're a little too dark, so I'm going to go over and use my slider to kind of bring them up a little bit. I just want to add a subtle darkness to them. Now I'm going to go over to my brushes and I'm going to open up to my color brushes. I'm going to start a new brush and I'm going to choose the color magenta. And down here you can see the color that's applied to the brush. Um, but this color is a little too red and I want to get something closer to the color of this girl's dress, which is still kind of in the magenta zone. So we're just going to make it a little bit more of a pink color. And what I'm going to do is use my brush to apply the color to her dress so I can really make it stand out. Alright, so this color is very, very dark and obviously I don't want it to be that dark. So I'm going to go ahead to my saturation and just turn it down a little bit. Turn the contrast down a little bit and I'm just going to turn the light up a tiny bit. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my color brushes. I'm going to hit new. I'm going to go down to my green color brush. Actually, I'm going to choose the green tint. What I'm going to do is add some green back into this grass over here and these trees to kind of make that color come out as well. Now that I've used my brushes to add a little bit of color back into the photo, I'm going to do one last thing and I'm going to go over to my presets again and I'm going to apply a vignette. I'm just going to apply this subtle black vignette which just adds a nice contrast around the border of the photograph. 
So that's how I'm going to do this photograph and I'll show you the before and after. So as you can see we took a photograph that was kind of bland in color and very dark and we've added a lot of light to it and a lot of color to it and it's really just enhanced the photograph overall. So I've gone ahead and opened another photograph. I've got this really nice photograph that has these great fall colors. So I'm going to show you a couple of edits to really enhance that. The first thing I'm going to do is apply some stackable presets to it. I'm going to go over to my color presets. The first thing I'm going to do is reduce the greens in the photograph. But I also at the same time want to bring out the magenta. So I'm going to go to the color and I'm going to stack on top of that the magenta burst. And then the last thing I'm going to do is go down to my tone presets and I'm going to add warm highlights to this photograph. Just because I want to give it that kind of nice fall vibe with a warmer color and tone to it. So it only took me about 20 or 30 seconds to add those three presets and already you can see it's changed the photograph quite a bit. This is the before and the after. So we've really added some of those warmer oranges and reds back into the photograph. I'm going to go over to my brushes and I'm going to open up my brushes again. I'm going to go back down to my light brushes and I'm going to use my light brighten brush. And I'm going to use this brush to kind of add light to these girls to kind of brighten them up in here in the middle. Right. I'm going to go ahead and use the brush to kind of add some light around them as well. I'm going to go ahead and hit new. I'm going to use the same light bright brush, but I'm just going to apply a new a little bit more to her face, hands, legs as well. I'm going to do the same to this little girl as well. And then I'm going to hit new again, and I'm just going to apply just a general one more coat of light over these girls. Now I'm going to go back to my brushes and I'm going to open up to my color brushes and I'm going to choose the magenta one. And you can see I've got this nice red color down here. I'm going to go down and I'm going to go to the density of my brush and I'm going to turn it down quite a bit down to 20. Well, 21. And then I'm going to use this brush to kind of add some red highlights back into these leaves. And then I'm going to use it up in the trees a little bit just to add a little bit of warmer highlights up there, but I'm going to turn the density down even more. So the last thing I'm going to do is go back to my all-in-one presets and I'm going to scroll down to my vignette presets. And I'm going to go ahead and add the vignette medium black, which has added a lot of darker color and contrast to the outside of the photograph. I'm really drawing the light to the center, the subject of the photograph, which is these girls. I'm going to go ahead and show you the before and after. So we took a picture that was a little bit washed out. It had nice colors in it before, but we've really enhanced them in the after picture, as you can see. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, and hopefully you'll be able to try it out for yourself soon.